going to be making a salt dough sculpture. Now, to make this, we have to make our dough or our clay first. We're gonna need a fourth of a cup of salt, half a cup of flour, about a fourth of a cup of water. Now, I'm going to use food coloring. That works really well. If you don't have food coloring, we could color with markers at the end. A spoon and a skewer, which we'll use later, and of course, a bowl to mix it in. Okay, let's get started by mixing up the dough. The first thing I wanna do is pour my half a cup of flour into my bowl. Try not to spill it everywhere and make a mess. Next, we need our one fourth of a cup of salt. That's just regular salt, nothing special. And just take your spoon and kind of give that a mix, trying to get that salt spread throughout your flour. And once you have it mixed, we're going to be adding water. You want to add only about half of your water to start with. Again, I start with a fourth of a cup and I'm going to take that and I'm going to pour half of that into my flour and salt mixture. And I'm going to start by using my spoon to mix this. It is messy when you first start. So don't stick your hands in it just yet. Use that spoon, start to mix that water into your flour and salt mixture. And just keep on doing this until it starts to come together. And then once it starts to come together, scrape any extra pieces of uh, dough off of your spoon and get your hands in there and start to really work it together. You want your dough to feel kind of like Play-Doh. So if it's really too sticky, that means you probably added too much water and you're going to need to add a little bit of more flour and salt mixture. If it's dry and too crumbly, then you can add a little bit of water at a time. It'd be better for it to be dry and crumbly and have to add a little bit of water than it to be too wet and sticky. So again, only add a little bit of water when you start. All right, so you can see I've put my hands in there and I'm going to start to knead and work the dough, getting all those crumbs mixed into it. It'll come together if you keep working it. All right, I'm gonna clean up my space, take everything away except for the dough. Now I'm going to be using food coloring to dye my dough. We are going to be creating an earth for Earth Day. So one half of my dough, I'm going to add a little drop of the blue food coloring and start to fold it in. I put it in the middle and then I'm folding the dough over and around it. It might take a moment to see that color coming through, but again, we're going to work and knead the dough until you start to see the blue come through. And you might have to adjust it. I would start with a little bit of dye and add more after. Uh, you start to see what color it comes out with. So I'm getting some blue showing through now and it's actually creating this really kind of neat marbled look. So kind of like water has the waves and the lines. That's kind of what it looks like. So I'm not going to mix this too, too much, just enough to make it seem kind of smooth. All right, now I'm going to use my green so I can create the land part of our earth. Oh, that's a lot of green I just put in there. So I'm gonna to try to keep it in the middle of my dough and mix it in, but, oh, it's already squishing out. So you know what? This is probably gonna, oh, there it goes. It's gonna get messy. It's on my fingers. If this happens to you, just keep on going. It might stain your hands for like the rest of the day, but hopefully after you take a nice good bath and spend about a day with green fingers, it will come off of there. So I'm just going to keep mixing this in until my green is really smooth. Now we have our two colors of salt dough. Now this dough is pretty cool because it can air dry or you can cook it in your oven and I'll tell you about that here in a little bit. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blue and you're just gonna take your hand and kind of give it a smush. We're trying to create an earth, remember? So I smooshed mine down into a circle. Now don't get it too, too thin because we don't want it to break apart, but you know, about the thickness of a cookie. Now I'm gonna take a little piece of green and I'm gonna start to shape what I think the different parts of the land might look like on my earth. So I can do that with my fingers and just kind of push it into place. Or remember I had that skewer in the very beginning. So I'm gonna take my hand and really press down that green, making it pretty flat. And then take that skewer and just cut out a shape that I think the land might look like. 
I could peel it up carefully and place it on my earth. Now it is important to give it a good press so that our two pieces of dough actually stick together. I'm just gonna keep forming my earth until I really like the look of it. Before you do anything else, make sure you pick it up off of your surface to make sure it hasn't stuck down completely. Now, I wanna hang my earth eventually, so I'm gonna take my skewer and poke a hole at the top. There you have it. We have created our salt dough earth. Now, to harden them, you have two options. You can either let it sit out for two or three days and it'll get hard, or you could put it on a cookie sheet in a 200 degree oven for about two hours. 